Sup YouTube, I'm back again with another video, it's your boy Derek X Ronin. And uh yeah, it's raining. I'm pretty sure you can hear it. Thanks, nature. <laughs> but today is Tuesday. I'm pretty sure this video is gonna come out on Tuesday. I'm sorry, it was it's gonna come out on Tuesday. I checked the time it's gonna come out on Tuesday, so Spooky Tuesday. <laughs> yeah boy. I missed a few. A lot, but um, I'm back to bring y'all the spooky and the dookie. You're weird, buddy. You're weird. Yeah. So um, let's just get into the video. First animation. Ka-chow! Okay, the first first animation is the girl horror story animated okay let's just get into it my name is I guess go down okay this incident happened when I was 14 years old and mm. I will never forget this is memory. she in her oh One those shorts I was, I was about to say is that a diaper my, my mom was still at the office late at night and my two siblings were at my grandparents house which was kind of far away from so my home, home alone at first, Sometimes I was just I'm enjoying too, my so time alone, watching it. Netflix and doing some fun stuff. However, after a while, I got pretty bored, so I decided to invite some of my friends over. I asked my mom for permission and then oh, called my boom. friends to okay. invite them over. I thought she was about to have like later, a party like that. While I was waiting for them, I heard a loud bang upstairs. I was sh Leave. Leave. You're the only one there. Leave. You understand? Sure that there they can have no the house. Upstairs. Mm -hmm. So I stood up and looked up the stairs with an anxious look on my face. When I was near the stairs, the kitchen I could knife. See that one of Grab my it. dolls had fallen. I picked it up and when I straightened my back, something caught my attention. What was it? A little girl was standing upstairs. What's good? When I'm falling. I'm falling back. I don't care. I'm falling back. Well, I could feel that she was staring at me, even though I couldn't see her face clearly due to the darkness. It's a mirror. I was terrified. From the ring. And then someone rang the doorbell. Yeah, I ran to see who it was, and luckily, my friends your mom? had uh, arrived. Look like anime Thank characters. <laughs> it was a moment of relief that my friends came over. Get to me! Time. I'm like, yo, go so get them. I I'm out. Off of the girl I saw. We sat down in the living room and had fun talking with each other. An hour later, one of my friends suggested that we should take some pictures together. So she about to be in the background. One another. Hey, we took squad. Selfies while laughing. She about to be in the back. Later, as we scrolled through the pictures, we found something. There was a little girl. Hey, she wanted to take some pictures too. Couch. She ain't got but her own was phone. Even more terrified was the fact that she had no face. You look I dusty. mean, her face was just an empty darkness. Slender man no daughter. Eyes, no nose and no mouth. Being terrified, I told Cassie to delete that picture right away. However, she Too late. said that something was wrong with her cell phone. I snatched the phone out of her hands and Break tried it. to delete it. I'm sorry. But no matter what we tried. We couldn't delete the picture. You go on, break that then phone. we heard loud thumps. It we sounded out. like someone's footsteps were coming from upstairs, and our light was flickering on and off at the same time. What we did you do? That we couldn't stay inside anymore. Thank you. So we rushed outside in a hurry. One of my friends, Christina, suddenly pointed at my bedroom window She's and there. said that there was someone in there. I raised my eyes up. And We're gonna have to burn the house down. And Sorry, Mom. Was. Sorry. It was Boop. the same faceless girl we had seen in the picture. Maybe she just my wants friends some friends. And I screamed. I called my mom and explained everything. My mom couldn't believe what I told her, so she made me calm down and said that she would be home in five minutes. Dang. After she arrived home, she searched the entire house, but she couldn't find any trace of the girl. Of course. I hoped that it was just our imagination. It wasn't. However, Trust. we soon decided to move out of the house because I kept seeing the girl after that incident. 
We finally moved and from then on my mom never wanted me to be home alone, so I always stayed with my siblings. I still have no clue why the girl haunted me, but I she think it was because she wanted us to get out of the house. Well, I'm just glad that I don't see that girl in my new house. Yet. Okay, you're doing music now. Okay. Um, if you ever see, if you see him one time, just get out. You don't have to burn the house down. Costing expenses, you might go to jail. Jail don't have ghosts, do they? Wait, they might. Okay, next animation is disturbing true dark web horror stories. Ooh, oh my God, the dark web. Don't ever go on the dark web, kids. I know some people be talking about it's not all bad, but it's it's all bad. Just just uh just stay on the clean web, okay? Just uh just do it for me. Okay? Stay safe. Don't die. Let's go. I was a regular on the chat rooms on the deep web okay. back when I was a, a regular in high school. Literally every day for about five months straight. Before school, after school, after basketball practice, and before bed. Oh my god. <laughs> well, he's not following my instructions there. at all. I chat with this one guy all the time because he seemed really cool. He'd nope. always link me to funny videos. Funny. In about a month three. Ain't no funny on changed. the dark web. He would send links to weird rooms. It's just murder. Yeah. Then the dark live streams. <laughs> so one day I was on a stream and there was a lady chained to a bed and gagged. Funny. Then That's I funny. Off of the stream and I tried to click something else. Then the mouse can't. quit moving. It started to move by itself and click back on the stream with the lady chained down. Oh my God. <laughs> when it opened back up, the lady was still there. Guys, Rosa. and a man with a potato sack on his head was on the screen. That Jason, the potato sack only had one eye cut out, and that's all. There was a table, Jason that had a from hacksaw, Friday 13 2, and scissors with a shaving razor. The man spoke into the camera and said, Pick one. No, everyone um. picked the scissors and the razor. He then shaved her head. After that, okay, that wasn't too bad. He said, Pick another one. Oh my and god, we already picked, picked one! He picked it up, held it to her head, while the woman was screaming, and then I gained control of the mouse and clicked off of it. I was thinking to myself, what am I watching? Exactly. Then my mouse clicked on another stream. It was the same man you gotta with, break the whole thing. with what looked like boiling water in it. I tried gaining control of the mouse, but I couldn't. You got I heard a different woman crying in the background. Dude, got another, yeah. The camera then zoomed out. And on the screen, I saw the barrel, a bat, and a flamethrower. Then the masked man asked which one. The chat was split between the boiling water and the flamethrower. The man then said, I'll use both then. He rolled the crying woman into the side of the camera, turned the flamethrower on, and aimed it at the barrel. Oh my at God, this point, he had her chained to the wheelchair. The water in the tub was boiling out of See, control. See, this is exactly why you don't go on the dark web. More. The man called another guy in the room. They unchained they her, got his friend. picked her up, and threw her toward the barrel. Oh, the screen oh, then went black, God. but I could clearly hear the woman screaming and splashing. For about two minutes, that's all I heard. Then it stopped. The screen then came back, and it was focused on the barrel. The two men just stood there, Staring at the camera, they gonna point at you. Heavily. You next. And that woman. I don't know how to explain it, but it was a terrible sight. Then the stream ended. Cause you decided I closed to out of everything, on. and I sat there in silence for a while. Honestly, that wasn't my last time on the dark web. Because I you stupid? enjoyed it. You what? There are a lot of people out there like me. You're weird, buddy. You're weird. More than you think. 
be careful about going on the deep or the dark web. So this dude is evil. Oh heck no. They should have got him too. Now 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 this lady was all boiling in water. Don't go on the dark web. If I catch you on the dark web, you will get these hands. Trust. Okay, next video. Scary animation. Is True McDonald's Night Shift Horror Stories Animated. Now, I do like me some McDonald's sometimes. I grew up on McDonald's, the Happy Meals. I never ate a Big Mac. Because you what? Because I'm pretty sure I wouldn't like it because of the sauce or something like It's just too much. But, um, apparently Ronald has been uh, doing some crazy stuff. So, uh, let's just see what uh, Ronald been doing. This happened to me when I was working at McDonald's. My boss assigned a schedule amongst our staff. Mm -hmm. I was unfortunately scheduled for the night shift on Fridays. I didn't usually nope. mind as we didn't get a whole lot of business around this time of night. My boss was pretty laid back and did But the business you do get is evil. Didn't mind if I went on my phone during yeah. business hours, so long as I got all my work done. I remember dozing off repeatedly due to the fact that I wasn't fully acclimated with Just the dozing up, standing up. Just like... Psst. That's when I heard someone that? making a psst sound. The kind of sound you make when you try to draw someone's attention. I notice a customer trying to make an order outside, so I quickly greet them with my usual, Hi, welcome to McDonald's. May I take your oh, order? This is I then heard a man say, one Whopper, please. Oh, it's me. Yes, it's... I would like one Whopper, please. My guy's a joker. I couldn't tell if he was being a smart ass or not, so I ended up saying, This isn't Burger King, sir. We don't serve that here. I heard him chuckling profusely at It's a joker. <laughs> it wasn't that I funny, sir. The security camera, only to see a clown. Oh my god! <laughs> The clown was standing in front of the drive through menu without a car. It's not Halloween, okay, why the hell so. is this guy dressed up like that? Because he's crazy. I really didn't want to serve this Look at guy, his eyes. so I decided to use our eyes of a maniac. as a plausible excuse for him to exit the premises. Hi sir, unfortunately you need to be in a vehicle in order to purchase something dude, here. He about to come in then. If you don't have a Whopper, I'll take a Baconator instead. <laughs> My gee, this ain't Burger King. I now could tell this guy was you dress up as Ronald. psycho you should harassing know. me. I instinctively yell, Get the hell out of here before I call the cops! Dang. I cautiously stick my head <laughs> out the window. Yeah, he's about, he about to come in. There. A couple hours later, near the end of my shift, I notify my boss and fellow employees regarding the situation. They all dismiss my accusations by saying, Why well, he look like Clark like, Kent? <laughs> Did you get his autograph? Or, it was probably some guy that thought it was Halloween. I annoyingly pretend to be amused and head home. The following Friday, it He's was back. my time to work the night shift again. I really, really dreaded working this shift, especially after what transpired see. that day. I tried to convince myself that it would be highly unlikely that I encounter that clown again. As time went on, I Dude, remember those off off again. I get startled yeah. by another pss sound. I would have fell over. I urgently check the security camera, but don't see anyone present. He inside. At this point, I genuinely thought I was hearing things due to my subconscious mind thinking about the clown. My paranoia must have been at the peak of its height. Why is he smiling? That's when so I turn my head towards the drive through window, only to see the clown staring dead at me. It's locked, right? <laughs> if you don't make me a Big Mac, I will kill you. You what? True. What going to do? <laughs> you weird, buddy. You're weird. I throw I some crying grease in your face. I roar shot. I immediately grabbed my cell phone to call the cops, but my hands were trembling so much that I actually wasn't capable of dialing anything. The clown started banging his head on the glass while screaming my name, Trevor, repeatedly. Trevor, 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 I am not loving it! Trevor, 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 Trevor! Trevor. I see blood dripping down from his head. I started shouting from the top of my lungs, Leave me alone or I will call the cops! 
The clown runs away as another car approaches the drive through lot. I stupidly resume work and wait for my boss to come in. Upon his arrival, Clark Ken again. the entire situation in. He then dismisses me by saying, Don't sweat it, kid. It was probably some drunk. You can go home now. As he was talking, I noticed it's a him. cut on his forehead. Oh my god! I could even see That's how he knew his name. start to drip from it. No, 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 no. It, it can't be. Goodbye, Trevor. No, no, no! Trevor did. So Clark Kent is Superman and Ronald McDonald. Uh, that is not correct. I've seen the scene coming. Ah! So, oh my god. If this, this probably wasn't real, but if y'all ever worked the night shift somewhere, Y'all gotta bring something with y'all. Or, wait, no. You could just, if you work a night shift at a restaurant, they have knives. I'm gonna borrow, borrow the knife for a minute. <sighs> Hope y'all enjoyed this spooky Tuesday. I know it's very informative. Don't, just uh, follow a few tips from this video. Don't go on the dark web. And don't go to McDonald's. And if and if you see somebody in your house that you that's not supposed to be there, burn it down. So I'll see you on the next video. I'm out. Ah, that was a good video. Time for me to get some cereal. <clears throat> cereal. I'm gonna get cinnamon toast crunch apple fritters. Mm, mm. Uh huh. Mm 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 mm. Mm. Now, did you hear this dude say, like and subscribe? What's wrong with him? You crazy! Do all here getting the cereal, even though he didn't say like and subscribe. If he didn't have me, he would have nobody. Like, subscribe. For really Bobby. I'll see you on the next video. Ka-chow!